Hey everyone, Sam from Professional Music Technology here, and in today's video we picked five of our favourite travel keyboards. Now obviously there are loads of different kind of small MIDI controller style keyboards to choose from, from the likes of Novation, Native Instruments, M-Audio and Arturia, but these aren't really much good unless they're connected to a computer. So with that in mind, we've decided that the keyboards that we've picked for this video had to be truly standalone and match certain travel based criteria. Firstly, they need to have onboard sounds and built-in speakers. They need to have the option to be battery powered. And most importantly, they need to fit inside a backpack or a suitcase. So if you are looking for a small portable keyboard, ideal for practicing and making music when you're on the go, these are our top picks for some of the best travel keyboards and pianos that we stock here at PMT. Our first pick has been around for a good few years now, but they're still just as great as ever, and that's the Yamaha Reface range. Now, I've picked the Reface CP as it's my personal favorite, but there's also three other models in the range, with each one recreating the sound and authentic controls of a particular type of classic synthesizer or organ. This CP model is dedicated to emulating vintage electric piano tones. So you've got options for road style pianos, Wurlitzer and clavinet tones, and a recreation of the classic Yamaha CP80. Plus there's vintage style effects such as tremolo, wah, phaser and chorus, and an onboard reverb and delay. Common features across all of the models, however, include a great feeling 37 note velocity sensitive keyboard with mini keys, octave shift controls to expand the range of that smaller keyboard, and a high quality set of stereo speakers to give the sound a wider spread. They each feature a pretty comprehensive I.O., including USB and MIDI connectivity, so they'll easily integrate into any studio or live setup. And for mobile use, you'll get about five hours of playing time from six AA batteries. So for classic electric piano, synth or organ sounds, all housed in compact, great looking and easy to use keyboards, you can't really beat the Yamaha Reface range. So pick your favorite flavor and give one a go. Next up, we've got a couple of options that admittedly at first glance, you might write off as a bit of a novelty, but bear with me as they do offer much more than just a gimmick. And that's the carry on 49 and 88 note folding pianos. Now, as their name implies, these are full size keyboards, which conveniently fold up to easily fit into a small bag or backpack. So if you are learning to play on a conventional piano, these are the only option that we're looking at today that will allow you to practice on full size keys with a full octave range while still remaining very portable. Considering their low price, both of these come in at well under hundred pounds. The folding mechanism and the construction of the keyboards is surprisingly well engineered. They don't feel flimsy or too cheaply made. And once you get used to their action, the textured faux ivory feel keys are pretty playable, easily good enough for learning the basics on or for practicing scales or arpeggios. The only downside is that they're not velocity sensitive, which admittedly does hamper the expressive and dynamic range a little. But again, remember these are not expensive keyboards. They're also packed full of features, including 128 onboard sounds, built-in drum rhythms, a transpose function, and a metronome with adjustable tempo and time signatures. Both models also come supplied with a mini sustain pedal and a little tote bag to carry everything around in. The stereo speakers are probably just about loud enough to accompany a singer, and the built-in lithium ion battery offers up to about eight hours of playing time charged by the USB socket, which incidentally also fires out MIDI note information, so they can also be used as MIDI controller keyboards. So as I mentioned a moment ago, the carry-on folding pianos are much more than just a gimmick, offering a great affordable option for anyone who needs a full-size but very portable piano for practicing or mobile music production.
The next travel keyboard on our list today is actually the smallest one that we're looking at, and that's the SuperQ Akai MPK Mini Play. Now this one is based on Akai's popular MPK Mini MIDI controller, so it features 25 touch responsive keys, eight velocity sensitive percussion pads, and a little joystick which allows you to control the pitch, modulation, and expression. But as well as those MIDI controller features, it's been upgraded to be a true standalone keyboard. We've added onboard sounds and a speaker. Those sounds include some great sounding pianos, strings, organs, and synths, as well as a decent selection of drum kits, all pre-mapped to the percussion pads. The single mono onboard speaker is admittedly a little quiet and thin sounding, but through headphones, the sounds are really rich, punchy, and dynamic. Plus, there's control knobs to adjust the effects, EQ, and filter parameters. All of your adjustments are easy to see on the crisp OLED screen. There's octave shift buttons, which are pretty essential on a 25 note keyboard like this. Plus other cool features include a handy arpeggiator and a note repeat function. The keyboard is powered by either USB or three AA batteries. So if you are after an ultra portable, fully featured MIDI controller, which also holds its own as a standalone keyboard, the Akai MPK Mini Play is the one for you. Our penultimate pick on our list of best travel keyboards is by far our most affordable option, coming in at around about 40 quid, and that's the Alesis Harmony 32. Now obviously, at this kind of price point, we're not really expecting a fully fledged professional spec keyboard. So for example, the keys on this one aren't velocity sensitive and there's no octave shift buttons, so you are stuck to that 32 key range. But it does offer a load of other features that make this a great cheap keyboard for learning the basics on. And compared to other similarly priced but unbranded keyboards that you'll find in toy shops or on internet auction sites, it does feel higher quality. So looking at those specs, the Harmony 32 has got 300 onboard sounds, which can be great fun to play around with. There's a selection of backing rhythms and songs to jam along to. Practice tools include a basic song recorder and a metronome, and there's five drum pads for playing finger drums. The onboard speakers are surprisingly loud, although there is a headphone socket to keep parents happy. It can be powered by either four AA batteries or USB. And if you do connect the keyboard to a computer, it also comes supplied with some great tuition software and lessons to get you started. So as you can see, all of this means that the Alesis Harmony 32 is a great cheap option for anyone with kids who want to learn the piano, but without the expense or having to sacrifice the space in your home for a larger keyboard. At the other end of the price scale, our final keyboard is the most expensive option that we got for you today, but it is also the most feature packed and professional, and that's the Roland Jupiter XM. Now, don't get me wrong, although this one does tick all of the boxes for our travel keyboard criteria, 
The Jupiter has definitely been designed to be a high quality professional keyboard for live and studio work, utilizing Roland's most advanced sound processors, including the Zencore engine that's found on their flagship Phantom keyboards. It just all happens to be packed into this really portable design. There's honestly too many features to list here. This is a fully loaded digital synthesizer packed with thousands of tones from Roland's iconic synths and drum machines with the ability to layer up to five sounds with hands-on control over synthesis elements such as oscillators, LFOs, filters and envelopes. On top of this, there's also a pretty comprehensive effects section. So in terms of tonal possibilities, it's a really powerful little beast. Other highlights include an intelligent arpeggiator for creating backing accompaniments on the fly and professional grade connectivity for gigging, including balanced XLR outputs and a microphone input for use with the onboard vocoder. But focusing on the features that make this such a good travel synth for making music on the go, it's got a really sturdy feeling metal chassis, so it's obviously been designed with live use in mind. Its 37 velocity sensitive keys feel really expressive to play, but keep that size down. And it can be powered by eight AA batteries. The onboard stereo speakers sound fantastic, especially with ping pong effects bouncing back and forth, and they're easily loud enough for backstage warm ups and jams. Or if you do need a bit more volume, its audio can also be streamed to an external speaker via Bluetooth. So there's not really many other options if you do need this kind of professional quality and features in such a portable and versatile package. And that's why the Roland Jupiter XM is one of the best travel simps currently available. So thanks for watching. That was five of our favorite travel keyboards and synths to suit different budgets and levels of playing ability. For more information on anything that you've seen here, visit pmtonline.co.uk or you can try one out for yourself at your nearest professional music technology store. As usual, don't forget to follow us on all of our socials as PMT House of Rock. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.